Most of the time you want to simultaneously buy licenses to sell new goods and place new shelves on the store. So be sure to have a decent savings, otherwise you won't be able to restock. Keep in mind that you have no control over how the store expansion will happen, so have enough funds to buy at least two at a time. You can price the items 20 to 30 cents higher than the market price. Only a few of the customers won't buy an item because of that, but you'll make more money from the rest. Don't waste your money buying the storage. It's pretty useless at the moment since you can easily just place excess stock on the floor. You can just hold the left mouse button to place the items. It's a simple tip, but I think a lot of people would probably miss that in the beginning. Don't buy too many licenses at once. The game has a massive amount of items, so if you unlock too many at once, you'll most likely rush the way you place them and make the whole store a mess. And since you can't move items once you place them, you have no other option than to wait for all items in that section of the shelf to be sold before you can put something else there. If you want to never run out of stock during the day, Structure your store in such a way that you have only two products per shelf. That will be one column per item. As you level up and you hire more employees and unlock more licenses, the number of customers will increase. So having just a row or two per item is not going to cut it. Once you reach level 10 and have done 200 checkouts, immediately hire an employee to work for you so you can focus on stocking and expanding the store. After a few in-game days pass and you're tired of running around the store and stocking the shelves, fire the employee and do another 200 checkouts since you need to have 400 and be level 20 before you can hire another employee. 